Hello and welcome to the second part of the GraphQL series. On this uh, course, we're going to learn more about GraphQL, but in this case, how it can help us on the client. And we are going to learn how we can mix it with React. And we're going to use something called React Apollo. Apollo is a very awesome company that is pushing Rea uh, GraphQL forward. They're doing lots of stuff uh, to make GraphQL ma mainstream. They have a Apollo server, they have Apollo client, they have Apollo for React, they have Apollo for Vue, they have Apollo for Angular. Tons and tons of shit that they're doing. That's what we're going to use. Uh, on this video, we are going to do an outline of the project, like what we're going to build, what we need to install. And um, yeah, that'll be it. We're going to create a project, to be honest, uh, actually. So let's go to GitHub. And here we're going to go to new as always, and we're gonna come and nomad code it, we're gonna say movieql client. Client, and then client for the movieql API. Build and react, whatever. With Apollo. Done. Initialize, git ignore, uh, not read me to be honest. This is okay. Create repository. All right, that'll be it. And now here on documents, I'm going to say create React app as always. And let's do movie QL uh, client. I'm going to pause when this is ready and I'll be right back. All right, so it's created and now we go to movie QL. No, not this one. This is the one we did before. CD movie QL client. All right, and let's do git init. Ah. Git remote at origin. Let me make this big. Whoa, that was stupid. Again, git remote at origin. Paste, done. And uh, now git pull origin master. Git pull origin. All right, I guess there's nothing. And now we get git add git commit, and we're gonna say, um, fuck, init commit. Done. Now, let's clean up. Uh, let me open this on the Visual Studio code. Okay, now let's clean up. Let's change this into the actual title. Movie QL. All right, and let's clean, uh, delete CSS, well, delete test, delete all the CSS, delete the test, delete the CSS, SVG, service worker, bye-bye, delete, done, move to trash. Now here, delete this, delete this, delete this, we're good to go, logo, bye-bye, here, bye bye. All right, that that's it. That's it. Now here we just put the that's better, and we're done. So that will be for the setup. That's all we need to do as a setup for our. Uh, yep, that'll be it. that'll be everything. Awesome. Now let's install shit. So join at, and we're going to install React Router. Dumb. This is for React Router. We're also going to install React Apollo, <clears throat> which is here. And for React Apollo, you need to install all this. All right. All right. I'll explain what this is all later, but just like before, I don't know if you remember, but before, I mean, the requirement for this course is that you need to install, you need to be able to understand what we did on the server. On the server, we used GraphQL Yoga, which is like a create React app for a server 
inside of um, Node.js with GraphQL. Now, what we're gonna do here is gonna do something similar. We're gonna use something called Apollo Boost. Apollo Boost is like um, everything set up for us to have a GraphQL client. That would be it, all right? So um, on the Nuber course, we talk about the clients more because we, got, we have to make our own custom client. But this one that comes with Apollo Boost is good enough for what we're going to do. So that's why we're installing it. So when you react, we need React Apollo, we need Apollo Boost, this GraphQL tag and all that stuff, I will explain uh, later. You will understand what, it, what that is. And we are good to go, all right? So remember, Apollo Boost is just like, uh, it's like a client for um, GraphQL, all right? Because you need some settings and some stuff in Apollo Boost. They already do it for us, and you're gonna see how simple it is to make a client for uh, on your own um, with Apollo Boost. Uh, see you on the next one, and that'll be it. Install, clean up, and see you there. Bye bye.